Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This match is going to be between Future, who's starting at the 12 o'clock position, Future Light, and he's going up against IBH at the 6 o'clock position. And I'll say I don't know much about IBH, or maybe it's LBH. I'm honestly not sure. Uh, he's... Oh, I don't like this color, though. It's kind of this peachish, gross zerg... Yeah. Uh, I think it's like tan, almost. It looks kind of grotesque with Zerg. Do people agree with me? I don't know. Anyway, uh, he's one of those guys who slips through the lack of knowledge of Diggity, which is quite a, a big... If you're thinking about a Venn diagram, that is a huge uh, circle, the things that Diggity does not know. However, uh, I know he's on Fnatic, so he's got to be a pretty decent player, right? Anyway, Future on the opposite end, it's just been fun to watch him play these matches. Uh, not not winning efforts for him, but uh, they've been fun. They've been creative. And then they, we're going to see if he's going to set up for a fast expansion build here, or if he's going to go for uh, a, something else. Nope, looks like he's going to go for that inside build he went before, maybe a two-gate uh, quickly. Let me show you guys the map. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, this is in fact Python, uh, hence the big snake in the middle. Expansion's the upper left-hand corner. You've already seen the natural secondary and the ramps, so it's big ramps, difficult to defend. Uh, two more expansions at the 3 o'clock and, of course, 6 o'clock expansion as well, and island expansions in the bottom left-hand corner and the upper right-hand corner, and uh, if you can kind of create a diagonal line from the bottom left to the upper right, that's where the mineral expansions are as well. Well, I guess mineral expansions uh, on the inside of that, and then uh, the inside, towards the inside of the map, and then the outside of the map is where you see those island expansions. Gateway going up here for future, and uh, yeah, continuing to pump probes in general. Looks like we're seeing a nine pool on the opposite end with some speed alongside, and there's the drone and the overlord being produced as well. So, speed's ergling attack, and I try to deny some information to future future and play, and we'll see if he goes into a three hatchery build or something uh, along those lines. But uh, going up against the two gateway build, I think future might be kicking himself as he runs and sees this nine pool, because basically he was, usually when you go two gate, it's it's fun to see the twelfth hatch because you can put up a little pressure. Uh, unfortunately at the cross position, not able to do that as easily. So things actually, yeah, the tool, the, but at the very least he's going to have the Zealots out to defend his front door. Six Zerglings being produced, most likely to kill that probe scout, and keep in mind IBH still hasn't scouted Future's base. He has no idea where to send these Zerglings at this stage. So, uh, yeah, could be in a little bit of a bad position there. A little bit of disruption. <clears throat> going to run up and try to kill that. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Probe Scout manages to sneak out. I thought he was going to get surrounded there. Nice job on Future to actually uh, heads up but move that probe out of the way. thought he was going to get a quick surround. He's getting the information he wants right here, though. No additional gasping mind. So no quick tech uh, at this stage. Might be able to run up. No, he's not going to be able to push up to disrupt this drone from putting down an additional hatchery. The Zergling's pushing up, but I think they realize, wait, I don't know where I'm going. I haven't scouted Future's base yet. So they're going to come back around, uh, try to kill that Probe Scout. Or it could be a uh, Fane as well, assuming that Future had... Uh, he might be assuming that Future had gone for a fast expansion, wanted to force Future to put down additional cannons to kind of make it more... these are more of a viable threat. Anyway, uh, Probe Scout running around. Looks like it's going to get surrounded now. Now taken out. Now Future's, in fact, in the dark. And we'll see if we'll see a return to gas. Yeah, the, the gas production starts up again uh, for the for the Zerk player, IBH. Second hatchery on its way. Two gate and three zealots on the front door, gasping mind for Future, and Cybernetics core going up. So we'll probably see that Corsair off the one base, and usually you need that Corsair because you need to know what your Protoss opponent's doing. IBH, in the meantime, sending these Zergling scouts across the map to just kind of scout things out again. Uh, now that Overlord scout seeing the zealots on the front door of Future's base, knowing, hey, that's where he's at, so we're going to send the rest of these Zerglings up. Future going to be in the dark, though, until he can get that uh, Corsair scout up. Not, uh, but with this ramp, he's going to be fairly well defended as well as these two gateways. Uh, yeah, these zealots pretty well protected. But again, he's completely in the dark. He doesn't know what he's going up against. We'll see if we're going to see a, an additional hatchery be put down uh, at the stage. Yeah, there's the third hatchery for IBH before his even second hatchery is up. So very nice in that regard. Overlord just kind of hanging out in the middle of the map. And I'm kind of curious what we'll see. Dragoon being produced, uh, probably to get rid of that, <laughs> to, to try to kill that Overlord Scout in the middle of the base. We'll see if he can escape in time. Stargate going up as well in the meantime, and that'll be able to, again, that'll produce the Corsair. That'll provide the information for future uh, towards the midpoint of the map. Future might want to get a uh, additional pylon down to make sure he doesn't get supply capped here. Uh, looks like, yeah, getting it down at that position now. Uh, Overlord starting to wander its way out, and there's that Dragoon. Not going to be able to catch that Overlord, I don't think. Maybe if it... Uh, maybe. I was wrong earlier. Uh, I thought, hey, there's no way that uh, Overlord's going to that's going to get killed. But and then, Yeah, we'll see if I'm wrong again here. So, three, two, one, and... 
Not quite. So the Overlord does escape with its life, but it was closer than I thought it would be. Uh, I tend to underestimate Dragoons. They're kind of hardy units. I think it's because they're. I've I've always been frustrated with them because they're kind of dumb. They're not as bad as Goliaths. Goliaths just run every which way, but Dragoons, uh, they tend to be pretty stupid as well. Just like, oh, let's run into each other now instead of attacking. And it's like, what are you guys doing? Come on. You're reborn warriors from the depths of... I don't know, anyway. Um, more, a couple more Zelts produced, just in case that front door was breached, I guess. 